Hi, I'm Sarah Geringer. I'm glad that you've joined me today for a meditation on Psalm 23, one of many people's favorite psalms, and I'm glad to do this with you. Let's breathe in to invite the Holy Spirit into our meditation time, and as we breathe out, just cast out anything standing in the way between you and God right now so you can focus on his word. Let's breathe in. And out. This is such a short psalm and it's packed with so much goodness. I'm going to read it to you, the whole thing, and then we'll pull out the focus verse. And this is from the New Living Translation. The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Now there's a reason I read all that, because our focus verse is verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. The Lord is my shepherd, I have all that I need. There's two reasons I read the whole psalm. One is it's a picture of Jesus as our shepherd, and we see many examples of that. He leads us uh, beside peaceful streams. He lets us rest in green meadows. Uh, he guides us along the right paths. Um, his rod and staff protect and comfort us. So these are all word pictures of what God does for us. He's loving, he's tender, He's caring and he's our protector. And then the second portion of uh, verse one, I have all that I need. I think the rest of these verses really prove that, that he renews our strength. He guides us. He um, is close beside us. He prepares a feast for us in front of our enemies. He honors us and he overflows our cups with blessings. So, uh, I don't think I've done this with any of the other psalms, but I do think that this particular verse wraps up the entire rest of the psalm, and that's why I want us to focus on it today. And I know that this uh, psalm uh, is known for being, bringing peace to people with troubled hearts, and I hope that if your heart is troubled today, that this uh, guided meditation is bringing you some peace, and I encourage you to get out your favorite version of the Bible and um, read this entire six-verse psalm for yourself and uh, gain the peace that you're seeking that's only available uh, through God's word and through his presence. So let me just pray this uh, over you right now. Lord, I thank you for the one watching. I pray that they would know you as their shepherd, as the one who who lovingly cares for them and is strong and mighty to save. And I pray that they would realize that with you, they really do have all that they need uh, in a spiritual sense and that you will provide for their physical and emotional um, and other needs as well. And I pray that they would grow um, closer to you so that they can uh, recognize these blessings that you're giving them already, Lord. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me, and next time we'll look at Psalm 24 together. Bye-bye.